everything going smooth, nice and so. We never really had no problems or this thing. Last November, the relationship between police constable Shanice Fraser and Clement Cockfield made headlines for all the wrong reasons. They were both in a relationship for six months before that night. They both worked at the same police station, and though many had speculated that he was abusive towards her, Fraser denied such accusations. We have a hit you. Like you start getting insecure because I am the type of person I'm very socializing. I would talk to anybody that talks to me. I don't have a problem with anybody or anything. And that is what used to get you guys because I just used to just interacting with us with the other workmates and this thing there. And it used to feel well because I used to socialize in a way with this. I went there with them and this thing there. Because of all people used to tell you about mm -hmm. me. While Fraser did mention that the two had a disagreement the day prior, she firmly believes that it could not have been the reason for him wanting to kill her. I got to work with a um, white top and a jeans. There was a, a full fitted top and he telling me how the top shirt. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I got to work with the top. So I just tried to avoid the argument and they seen him see and I walk out the door and left him. Fraser was happy. Cockfield had proposed to her and they promptly began making wedding plans. She even showed us her engagement ring that she still wears today. But it all changed on that day. It was at this police station where Shanice Fraser life would change forever. I said, all right, good. He come and he hugged me up. And I rest back my head on his chest. And this when he put it onto my head and he shoot. So I didn't fall or anything because it feel like a lash. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lash I get in my head. So now I turn in the wrong for Axie. Why he lash me? So why so I for Axie? Why he lash me? Put it on and chain and shoot. So he fell back on the step. He shot. Now I left stand up. I watching this while I watching this way. I say no and I start running and I run for help for him. Mm -hmm. I run and I tell him to shoot itself. He shoot itself. I didn't know that I get shoot. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lash I get in my head. It was clear her fiancé wanted her dead as he continued his assault. When I near reach out to the vehicle, this is when the blood started pouring out my head and running out my mouth. This is when I realized that I just shoot them. So I just dropped myself right in front of them. I said, well, I, I said, don't dare, this is to me head. You know, I fall and I split me up and put me on the back of the vehicle. But he still, he come back around, he walk and he come back around. So one then by his taxi, then by say, Cockfield, by what you really doing? What wrong with you? Mm -hmm. And he didn't answer them. He just keep watching at me all the time. He, I get black, black, black. He face, he all feature change up. And he just staring at me all the time. So he come, he rest back the gun to me here. The one then by his lash way, the gun, flash way hand. And he trying to get the gun from me, but he fight the half, he didn't get it. So we don't know why he's trying to get away again. He fire off and next shot, but one got to my chest. And next shot to your chest. Yeah. So this is two shots. And I continue running. While he's running, the next one catch me in my side. And the last one catch me in my hand. So when I get the last one, I left, I just stand up. I say, I ain't gonna make it no more. I just stand up. And I faint out. On the ground. So like when I fall out, he watching he's still watching at me because he think he think I did. After being shot four times, she was still conscious and was transported in the police pickup to the hospital with Cockfield. He didn't die at least when I when we were going into the, the hospital. He I did still open and he was watching at me. During our hospital stay, she was left in the dark as to what exactly happened that evening. The whole time, Fraser would constantly inquire about Cockfield. When my eyes opened, he was the first person I asked for. And from since then, I keep asking for keep asking for him. They keep telling me that he's he alright, he's alright. I said, I keep saying alright, good. But for some reason, like, I feel Thor wasn't he act like Thor. Because this by all future just change and this thing. Then. You're talking about the shooting? Yeah. It wasn't him, you thinking? No, it wasn't to me, like it wasn't he. 
Because I keep saying, why would he want to do something like that without a cause or a reason? She has never received counseling and some days she would become emotional. She's still haunted by the memories of that fatal night and constantly thinks about Cockfield. I think about it every day, but I just try my best, like, for don't thing. Whenever it comes to my thoughts or whatever, I go and listen to music or look for somebody to go and get after it or chat with somebody. I want to bear up no more by, I do most of the days by myself and listening. Mm -hmm. Maybe I know my talk to just keep taking the time. This is what I end up turning up back to work for him there for social media. So you never see any counseling? No. No, Nonetheless, Fraser is back on the job and she has been assigned to a new outpost. She says that she loves her job and is grateful to be alive. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers. Thanks for watching Channel 2 Headline News. If you like this story, leave a like. We'd really appreciate it. Also, you can share your views and comments below. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button for updates on all the news happening in Guyana.